We have really exciting exclusive news for all you enthusiasts. Honestly, I can't wait any longer. So I'm gonna break it to you right now. Yamaha R7 and Tenere 700 are finally launching in India. Both bikes will debut on the 31st of April and we will be riding it on the same day itself in Lavasa, Pune. The R7 is everything we hope a mid-displacement super sport should be and it should be a great stepping stone from the R3. Need we say more about the Tenere 700? One of the most wonderful ADVs in the world on sale at present. It would be a mind-boggling experience to ride it on the Lavasa Road, the broken tarmac and the adjacent trails as well. I can't begin to tell you how excited we are to get our hands on these extremely anticipated bikes. Also, here are the rest of the two-wheelers we expect April might bring. Rejoice KTM off-roading enthusiasts! The Austrian manufacturer has heard your cries and it will be launching the spoke wheels version of the 390 Adventure this month. It will be the same 19 and 17 inch spoke rim setup that debuted internationally earlier this year. Now they aren't tubeless and neither do they amp up the off-road cred as it's not a 21 inch front wheel setup. The only benefit that we do see of the spoke wheels is that it will take a lot more bashing as compared to the alloys. However, the tubed tyres would mean a lot more compromise as compared to the tubeless tyres. And that's not all. There are two trims of the same bike in the works for India. One of them will get an adjustable suspension on both ends, so the harshness of the ride quality can be toned down slightly. The second one will make use of Duke's Monoshock. It will be better for the tourer folk. The bike is expected to get KTM's racing livery with full orange treatment and beautiful black graphics. It looks simply stunning on the international spec model. The Last of Us might be the most popular show right now, but the last of Royal Enfield's UCE bikes will cease to exist come April. That's right, the 2023 version of Royal Enfield's most iconic bike, the Bullet 350, will be upgraded to the J-Series platform this month. It already powers the Meteor, Classic and Hunter 350. The 349cc single-cylinder air-cooled engine will continue to make 20.4 PS and 27 Nm, but we expect it to get the same relaxed ignition map as the Classic. The design and styling of the Bullet 350 will be the same as the older one, but it gets a completely new revised underpinnings, which should result in better and modern riding experience, much better than the older one. With the update, the Bullet 350 will be more expensive than before and no longer the most affordable Royal Enfield bike. That title goes to the Hunter 350 now. So it will slot right between the Classic 350 and Hunter 350 with a price tag of around Rs 1.80 lakh. The Triumph Street Triple RS is now the fastest street fighter in its segment and it will most likely be coming to India this month. In November 2022, Triumph launched the new Street Triple in three variants, R, RS and Moto2, which is the craziest of the lot. But sadly, it will not be coming to India. The pre-bookings for the R and RS variants have already begun at Rs 50,000 across the Triumph dealerships in the country. The three-cylinder liquid-cooled engine now makes a crazy 130 PS and 80 Newton meters. That is an insane amount of power for a road-going bike just 10 PS less than the race spec Moto2 machines. Along with more power, the bikes feature a bunch of new upgrades and updates. Arun spent a few days with RS and R in Spain and he came back spellbound. Check out the link in the description below for his review. New BS6 Phase 2 emission norms are set to kick in from April 1st and a lot of manufacturers are likely to launch their updated two-wheelers this month. Most of these won't be major updates and might just come with new colours and graphics. The new emission norms mandates a second-generation onboard diagnostics device on the two-wheeler itself, which should monitor and indicate the emission levels in real-time and in real-world conditions. This is unlike before when the emission levels were monitored in lap control environments. Any irregularities will be directed to the rider via an instrument console. Remaining products from Yamaha like the Aerox and FZ25 might launch this month, along with popular models from Bajaj and TVS. While these are the launches and updates we are expecting this month, there could always be more. Oh, and um, <laughs> messing up in the upcoming videos is not new to us. Uh, case in point, the TVS IQ of STE scooter. With that being said, today is April 1st and a review for the Yamaha 700s will go live on April 31st. So if you do like our content, like the video, 
and let us know in the comments how eager you are for the April 31st Yamaha 700s review. Press that bell notification icon to be notified of the April 31st review. See you again soon.